Good morning, fam. It's Michelle from Make a Circle. I'm here at Good Space setting up for a bespoke small sound healing group. And I, I've been meaning for a few days to speak into gifts. We're leaning into holiday season and there's a lot of pressure to be material or to give gifts. And I wanted to actually lean into resonance and why gift giving isn't such a great thing if it's not coming from a pure heart space. If you feel pressured to give a gift or even pressured to receive a gift that you're not vibing with, trust the vibration. A lot of people are giving gifts either to manipulate or they're giving gifts out of resentment because they feel pressured. They can't afford it. They haven't put a lot of thought into it. They are just giving in because of expectations and this is not coming from a pure heart space. And because matter's vibrating, everything's vibrating, everything is vibrating, that gift is vibrating, the paper that it's been wrapped in is vibrating, the bag, the bow, um, the money that's been spent on the gift is vibrating. If you receive that and it's not given with pure heart loving intentions, guess what? That vibration is sitting in your home now. So we need to ask for discernment. Um, I just popped up a post actually why a lot of you aren't able to manifest yet. It's because the first law of the universe is the law of sound and resonance. Resonance means matching a vibration that has been embodied. If you're operating and living with a whole bunch of uncon unconscious people, they are resonating with thoughts that they haven't even processed yet. And so seasons like this, where there's a whole lot of pressure by the media and um, our environment to spend a lot of money that often we don't even have. A lot of resentments woven into that in order to keep up with the Joneses. So I want you to really use your wisdom this year. If you give a gift, make sure that you really want to give it. Um, the old principle of bring your offering to the altar if it's not done with love and 100% and heart space. Uh, even God says, I reject your gift. And how many of us are operating, um, unbeknownst to us, through our wounded subconscious mind where we want to please somebody or we want um, cred or we're spending more than we can afford or we're just doing it lazily. These aren't gifts from the heart space. You're better off to gift an experience or something that's memorable. If you're better off to not give something if Know that God is in every person that you're giving to. That's the energy I want you to really think about today. If you're giving something to somebody, if it's not 100% love or if it's for manipulation, control or trying to get some accolades, then I would rethink that gift because it all bounces back to you. Resonance, whatever you give out, that is what you're receiving. So I'd love you to think about manifestation this year in giving a really good gift to yourself of vibrational clearing. Um, clearing your subconscious mind includes clearing the body. That's where sound healing really works. And so if you are free this holiday season and you're in Sydney, or even if you're abroad and you're online, we can do a sound clearing even through Instagram. It works really well on the Instagram, actually. A lot of the other platforms don't work so well. Uh, hit me up. I would love to love love to give you the gift of resonance if you can match the resonance and learn to embody what you're trying to attract that's how you kick up your gear for the law of attraction it's really exciting learning all of these quantum things and and i do believe that we're at the cusp of creating new earth and that means every good gift comes to you because you've already embodied it think about christ a little baby he wasn't striving wasn't working as a um as a slave just existed and the gold frankincense and myrrh was gifted to him by the mystics those that could hear the spirit the i don't think it was in december either guys because you know the shepherds were in the fields but they get all the stories mixed up it intentionally i think because of the matzeroth because they're talking about um that's a big story. I won't go into that today. I wanted to focus on just gift giving. And if you're not giving from the heart space or you're not receiving 
from the heart space, then the resonance might be off and you'd rather receive a blessing, not a curse. Have a great and safe holiday. If you're around, I'm working through this Christmas break and I would love to book in either a one-on-one -on -one or a small group with your work colleagues or with somebody that you love. Um, this is really, really powerful stuff. The, the gift of resonance means that I'm learning to clear all things that I have been holding, which is my thoughts, the vibrations that have been spoken into me by my background, by my traumas. I'm clearing those things out. I'm choosing to embody something that I'm trying to match. And if that's loving, the universe gives so much better than you could ever manifest. Love you and hope this helps you ponder these things. Um, chat soon.